Hey guys, it's Alex with Fund Investor here. I'm here to walk you through our new and updated use case templates, which you can find in the use cases section on our website. Now, just a few of these use cases use the new templates. So the one that I'm going to show you as an example is build a complete outreach campaign on LinkedIn. But you can follow this with any of the templates that you're using. Click on get the template to make a copy of your own. Click make a copy. And once your copy is made, you'll see you have your very own use case template. Now, there's a lot going on here on this build tab in particular, and I'm going to walk you through a couple of things just so you get a general overview. So as you can see over here to the left, you have a list of the steps of your workflow. So what this particular workflow is going to do is it's going to extract a list of profiles from a LinkedIn search. It's going to send them a connection request. Then it's going to check who accepts the request and send a follow-up message to those who do and check who answers your follow-up message. You'll also see which phantoms you have to use right here in this list. As well as that, you've got some instructions over to the side. You see how many phantom slots you need on your phantom buster account. I need five for this one. As you can see, when I go back to my dashboard, I've got five phantom slots. And as well as that, you'll see beside each of the phantoms and some other places in the template, you'll see some info links, which are just going to give you a bit more information about how to set up that individual phantom or something else that's going to be useful to you. So let's get started. To begin with, we're going to extract a bunch of profiles from LinkedIn. I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better. You can choose where you'd like to extract these profiles from, and it'll be a different phantom for each one. I'm going to keep a LinkedIn search, and then we're going to use LinkedIn search export the phantom. So simply click here to access it. Click on use this phantom, and you should have your Phantom Buster extension installed already. So click connect to LinkedIn to get your cookie, hit save. Then you're going to give the phantom the search that you want to scrape profiles from. So I've already made my search on LinkedIn. I'm just going to copy the URL and go back to my phantom setup and paste it. Hit save. Now we get to the behavior where you're going to tell the phantom how many profiles you'd like to extract. Again, the info link in the spreadsheet will tell you, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to go with a nice and easy 10 to keep it short. Click save and we're going to launch this phantom just manually and collect them all in one go. So you can hit launch. And once the phantom's finished launching, you will have your results file over to the side. So you're going to copy the link to that and take it back to your spreadsheet. And you're going to paste the link right here in the relevant results link box for that phantom. Now, as you can see, it's going to take a little minute to load. It'll tell you when it's loading and it'll tell you when it's finished loading. It'll also tell you when it's finished loading how many profiles have been extracted right here. So 10 profiles. That's our first step done. You can visualize this a little bit better as well on the workflow tab of the spreadsheet. So here's our workflow tab. And as you can see, all of the profiles that I've just extracted are listed here. And if I zoom out so you can see the rest, we're going to have an equivalent situation for each of the other phantoms that we use. So let's get started on our next phantom which you can see is our LinkedIn network booster. So again, you can click here to use this phantom and follow the same steps as always, but you're gonna need to tell the phantom which profiles to invite. And to do this, go back to your template. You'll see right here, you've got a little input link button. So this is the link that you're gonna need to copy to give to the phantom so that it can use the profiles that you've extracted. But a very important step here is that you need to make sure that your template is publicly accessible. So click on this button up here to the right and you're going to change it so that anyone with the link can view the spreadsheet. That's it. Then paste it into the phantom setup and click save. You can add a message to your connection request if you want. I'm going to leave mine empty for now. Click save. And again, here is where you tell the phantom how many invites to send. So if you check the little info link, it will give you advice on this. One really important piece of advice for this phantom in particular is to keep the enable scraping box unchecked in the phantom setup. That one's this one right here. The reason that we keep that unchecked is that it makes your results file very heavy and it could break the formula in the spreadsheet if your file is too heavy. So in terms of how many invites we're gonna send, we're going to stick to sending two invites per launch. This is because LinkedIn have recently implemented a 100 connection requests per week limit. So we need to limit the amount we're doing per launch. 
click save. You can skip the email discovery step. Now is where you set up your repeated launches. So we're going to launch our phantom once per working hour excluding weekends. This is because we're sending two invites per launch and with this setting we'll be sending 90 invites per week. Click save and close. And since you've set up your repeated launches, you don't actually need to click launch for this phantom. I'm just going to do it for the purposes of this video. And there we go. My network booster has sent my invitations. So we're going to do the same thing. Copy the link of the results file, take it back to your spreadsheet and paste. Then you just need to wait a little second while it loads. And there you go. Two invitations sent. Once again, we can check this on our workflow tab and we see that the invitations have indeed been sent. One thing that I want to point out to you here is that it's really, really important that you do not modify this spreadsheet other than the relevant boxes and the relevant links that you should paste. And this is because it will break the formula and it won't work. But one thing you can do if you don't want to send a connection request to a particular profile is that you can simply tick this box to exclude them from future launches. Okay, and on to our third phantom, which is our contacts extractor phantom. And the purpose of the contacts extractor phantom is basically to extract your most recently added contacts so that you can see who has accepted your request out of those that you've sent the request to. We're going to stick with 100 and we're going to stick with recently added. Click save. And in terms of our repeated launches, click on repeatedly four times per day. And that's you all set up and ready to go. Again, I'm going to launch the phantom so that I can show you. And once the phantom is launched, copy the results file and paste. So you can see I've got zero requests accepted so far. That's okay, that's to be expected because I just sent the invitations. But as you have both of these phantoms running repeatedly, this spreadsheet is gonna automatically update as these results files are in here dynamically. So what do we do after they have accepted our requests? Well, we're gonna send them a follow-up message just to say hi and thank you. And we're gonna do that using our LinkedIn message sender. Once again, this is a phantom that needs an input link. So let's copy that link and let's go to the phantom. Click on use this phantom, connect to LinkedIn and save. Here's where you're gonna paste your link and you're gonna write your message. So I'm gonna say, hey, you can use the first name placeholder tag to personalize your message. Thanks accepting my request and click save. Now, how many profiles we're gonna message per launch? I'm gonna say five, click save, save, and set up your repeated launches. And once again, your phantom is set to automatically launch, so you don't need to launch it. Something else to note is that this phantom will not have any profiles to process until people have accepted your connection request. So it's normal if the first launch or two, there are no profiles being processed by this phantom because maybe people haven't accepted your request yet. So don't panic. As per usual, once you've finished launching the phantom and you have a results file, you're gonna paste it right here. We don't have one just yet, but I'm gonna show you how to set up our final phantom and that is the LinkedIn inbox scraper. And this phantom is going to basically scrape your inbox and see who has replied to your message out of those that you've sent a message to. It's nice and easy to set up. You're gonna scrape all messages. Once again, repeatedly, four times per day, save and close. And the same thing will happen here. When your phantom runs, it will produce a results file, which you'll be able to paste right back in here into your spreadsheet. So once you have all of these results files pasted, you'll have a full spreadsheet. You'll have a full setup on your workflow tab. You'll be able to see who has accepted your connection request, who you've sent a message to. You also have the exclude column here to exclude them and who has answered to your messages. As well as that, I'm gonna point out the results tab to you. And this is where you're gonna be able to see a little bit of a breakdown. So for example, who did I extract from my search? Well, 10 profiles. Who did I send an invitation to? Just two profiles so far. And this will update again as your phantoms update the spreadsheet. Finally, you're gonna have a little performance tab here, which is gonna give you some stats. It's gonna help you visualize your numbers a little bit. And you have an FAQ tab in case you have any questions about anything to do with this spreadsheet. You should find the answers here. 
If not, feel free to get in touch with our support and they'll be happy to help you out. If you do want to add some more follow-up messages in a sequence, you can do that down here by choosing how many follow-up messages you would like to send if people don't answer your requests. But that's everything for this tutorial. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we will answer. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep in touch with future content. See you next time.